It is day two, 2nd of July. That's better, isn't it? And um, welcome to my vlog. So today is Tuesday and Mabel and I are out for a walk, as usual. She is spinning around. Where is she? I hope she's not doing a wee this time. Uh, she's there, I can't really see. Oop. There. Look at my big finger. That's so funny. Yep, she is doing a wee now. I just missed it. That was lucky. Um, yes, yeah, so I I don't know what to say to everybody. I woke up this morning with 47 comments. I mean, I can't believe that many people watch, let alone want to comment. And you're all so lovely. So it's quite overwhelming. <laughs> but I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I wasn't sure, you know. I think when you're the own with your own lives, you kind of think that they're a bit dull and boring. But I like seeing people's everyday life. I can stand still for a minute. It's so beautiful here. <sighs> Yeah, I like seeing everybody's everyday life. You know, just the stuff that we all have to do. So, you know, may as well make it as pleasurable as possible. Um, I wanted to say some stuff, but now I've forgotten. <sighs> A bit puffed. Got my dog walking bag. <laughs> it's my doggy bag. I wear it in the summer because I don't have a coat and I need to carry Mabel's lead and treats and my phone and poo bag and all the stuff that you need when you go doggy walking. So I just used this bag. It was one of Bryony's really old ones. What? It's bright again, isn't it? <sighs> Something has gone weird. What have I done? There we go. I pressed the screen. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. And oh my goodness. Let's go back this way. That was easier. Um, so today, I had a little bit of a lie-in, to be honest, because I went to bed with a headache. And I've woken up with a little bit of a headache, but it's much, much better. So, um, yeah, that's really good. So a few of my que Oh, before I start answering questions, it was funny last night when I was cooking tea, I said to Pete, oh, would you like to be on my vlog today? And his face looked horrified, like I'd asked him if he could go without food for a week. You know, that kind of face. And I was so shocked because he is way more confident than me. And kind of happy-go-lucky and stuff. And he was just mortified that he might have to be on my vlog. And I said, you don't have to be. He said, no, I, could, I couldn't do that, I'm not that brave. And I said to him, well, I am the least brave person I know. So um, he just said no. Anyway, I said, can I get you on my vlog when you don't know about it, like just when you're going about everyday life? And he's like, okay with that, but he doesn't want to talk, <laughs> which I find hilarious. And I doubt George will either talk, but hopefully I can get some snippets of them when they don't really notice. There's my boo. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Okay, so, I have not published the comments where I've been asked a question so that I don't forget to answer them. So, if you don't see your comment has been published, it's because you've asked me a question. And I will publish them as soon as I can after I've answered the question because I just forget otherwise. So, one question was, my blouse yesterday, did I make it? I didn't, I'm afraid. Um, I bought it from Jules, probably last year, I think. Um, but thank you for asking. And um, I am intending on doing some dressmaking, as you know. Another comment was, a lovely lady um, just reminded me that Mabel, or dogs in general, can't eat grapes. So um, I would never give her grapes. I'm quite careful what I give her. But um, it was very sweet of you to remind me. And uh, it's weird, isn't it, how dogs 
can be allergic to grapes and kind of raisins and stuff like that. But uh, no, maybe we wouldn't eat them anyway, but uh, I'd never give them to her. I've forgotten the other questions. I'm going to show you a bit of my walk while I'm talking because it's so pretty here. I'm going to turn you around. Hang on. <laughs> right on cue, boo. Another wee? Is that 550? Probably. <laughs> um, this walk is one of our shorter walks, actually, because I want to get some snacks made before I go pick up mum for her hospital appointment. So we're doing a shorter walk today, but it's so beautiful here. All these ferns are just, I'm sure there must be sprites and fairies living over there. Sorry, I'm puffing. It's quite hard work talking to a camera, holding it up and walking up a slight hill. <laughs> um, yeah, so this walk is about, I could walk it from my house, but in the car it's about, three four minutes perhaps it's really close and I, I could walk it as I said from my house but um, Mabel really really does not like walking um, beside the road she gets really freaked out so I don't like to do that to her so we just drive so she doesn't have to do the road and that's absolutely fine um, I have to drive to all of my walks actually but the most ever is like 10 minutes, probably not even that. And uh, Mabel was, when she was little, she used to hate the car. She used to get car sick, but she's such a good girl now. She sits in the back of my little Fiat 500 and um, she just fits perfectly in there. She sits there looking out of the window and having a lovely time. So, yes, I shall stop talking now and show you a bit of the countryside. on her lead so they couldn't play or anything because I think maybe the little puppy gets overexcited by what I saw but oh my goodness we had a nice little cuddle and that's so cute. The other thing I wanted to say was you know I was talking last night about oops gosh it's bright isn't it oh I forgot my sunnies again we were talking or I was talking yesterday about like putting a happy out into the universe and these little things can make such a difference to people a smile to a stranger and little things like that well this morning 
as I was driving here, there was a dust cart um, blocking the other side of the road. And um, people were just overtaking, overtaking, even though it was my right of way. And they just kept coming and coming and I was getting a bit annoyed, <laughs> really. Not that I get road rage or anything, but I was getting a bit narky, you know. It's like, well, it's my right of way and they're just like pushing through. Anyway, it all stopped. And so I carried on my merry way and the guy at the front of the queue who'd stopped behind the dust cart to let me go, he stuck his thumb up and gave me a great big smile. And you know, that was so lovely. I just think, hang on, oops, gosh. <sighs> Little things like that are just so, it just made me feel really warm inside. It's such a friendly gesture. And he was just going about his day, he was obviously working, he just stuck his thumb up, was like, yay, that's fine, thank you. And it just made my morning, he just looked so happy. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so thank you man, in a van. You were really cute this morning and I really appreciated it. I keep looking around because there's people in the woods today. I, come here boo boo, good girl. I keep thinking of things I want to talk about and mention, but an amazing thing that keeps happening to me is I keep seeing the numbers 1111. And um, this has been going on for a couple of years now. And um, Amy and I, Amy's little tellerist, we chat a lot. And she has a similar thing with different numbers. Anyway, I googled mine and it's, um, it's, a sign that angelic loved ones are near and it fills my heart with so much happy to think that that is the case and I truly believe it it's like um, it's like I'll go check my phone and it's 11 11 or um, I'll go see how the tumble dryer is getting on how long has got left 11 11 Pete and I are out in the car he can't believe it either because he's noticed as well and there's a song playing on the radio and I go to see who, because his displays, mine doesn't do posh things like that, but his radio displays who's singing. And what's the time? It's 11.11. 11. Even down to silly things like I was watching um, the Bakery Bears and Kay was doing some baking. I can't even remember what episode. And she put something in the oven. The time on her oven was 11.11. 11. So Kay, you're joining in. And it's just, I can't even tell you how many instances this happens to me. But it's so lovely to think that all my loved ones are with me. And I feel them, sometimes I feel them. I have a locket, which I wear quite often. And um, I have a photo of my dad and my brother in there. And I just feel so much that they are with me. I don't even have to wear the locket, but it's just so lovely. And I really believe that 1111 is just little signs to say that um, I'm not alone and, you know, my loved ones are there kind of looking out for me, being my guardian angels. That's my insight for the day.
So I'm just going to make some mango and coconut energy balls from the Deliciously Ella app. So I don't think I can share the recipe, but I, the, you know, the amounts, but I can show you what I'm putting into them. So I've already um, roasted some cashew nuts and, oops, I have to put coconut in there and whiz it up to like a flour consistency. Uh, take that out. I think that's as flowery as I'm going to get. It's a little bit warm, actually. Oh, maybe that's why. But that's fine. So you take that out, put it in a bowl. Oh, it's already smells yum. These um, energy balls, or these particular ones, are quite expensive to make, but they do last quite a long time, I find. So there we go. Now I have to put in my apricots. Oh, I hope I've got enough apricots. I'm going to apricots and I'm going to pop it in. It's not quite enough, but I can always add some sultanas or something. And some coconut oil. It says two tablespoons, I just kind of guess. Mabel likes this. I'll let her lick the spoon after. It's one of her favourites. Okay, and now what do I have to do? Okay, so I blitz that. Oh, it smells good. It smells so good. Um, and again, I haven't got quite enough dried mango either, but we'll go with it. Blue. That goes. Oh, it looks good. To try a bit. Oh, yum. Okay, we whisk that up now, and then we pop in some more bits. So now we add in all the rest of the ingredients, which is, let me see, three tablespoons of cashew butter. I haven't got cashew, but I've got almond butter. So that's going in. Oh, these are going to be good. This is a Mabel spoon as well. <laughs> Should leave a little bit on there for her. Um, this mixture goes back in. Oh man, these are going to be so nice. Um, a pinch of salt. I love this little salt pot. It's really cute. And it's from Susie Watson. Um, sea salt, cashew butter. I think it's just the zest of two limes, which is quite good because I need the juice for tonight's tea. I'm adding a few sultanas because I was a bit short on both of fruits. I think that will do. Stick the lid on and let it go. So much plastic though. I wish I had one of those um, zero waste shops. I saw a shop, an empty shop the other day for sale and I said to Bryony, oh my goodness, I would love to open a zero waste shop. I just wouldn't know how to go about it, but that would be so amazing, like a dream. Oh, it looks delicious. Okay, it's still a little bit warm actually. Oh, these are gonna be good. You just roll them in the coconut. I think this is gonna make a lot. Mm. 
I have a little bit of coconut left over, so I'm going to put that in a little bowl and save it for my breakfast tomorrow. Sprinkle it on the top. So it made, I don't know how, I haven't counted, but all of those and those. So I'm going to pop them in the fridge. Um, I'll put two in a little box um, for mum and I this afternoon in case we need a snack. I'm going to tidy up, then I'm going to have a quick bit of early lunch, and then I best go. Get my mum. What is that? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's the nice one. This one. Oh, you're so lucky. Look, he's wearing mummy's hat. Look it. Right, I have to go. I feel a bit cross. <laughs> I was going to take my laptop and my headphones and I was going to visit, no, I was going to edit, not visit. I was going to edit today's vlog. But my headphone, is it Jack? You know, the bit that goes in the little bit. <laughs> it doesn't fit my laptop. And I know I had a kind of little dongle thing that I attached to my headphone jack to put into the hole in my laptop but I can't find it so I'm taking my knitting I'm taking my peachy bunny socks so I need to crack on with those I've only got that much done and I'm taking some energy balls some of my strawberry mint water and some headphones so hopefully I'll be able to listen to an audiobook so yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, I'm back from the hospital now and I'm just about to cook some tea. Hospital visit was rather traumatic and I'll tell you a bit more about that later. But for tonight I'm making stir fried chicken with lime and coconut. Again, out of Delia's How to Cook book two. I tend to find one book each week to meal plan from and I, I kind of make up a few and take a couple out of the recipe book. So that's what I'm making tonight. It's really quick and really simple. So that's tonight. So I'm just cutting up some chicken. It's only the last couple of months I started eating meat again. I didn't have it for two or three years, maybe. I may have liked it, maybe, maybe longer, maybe less. I lie a lot without realising, apparently. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to put some rice in the pan. I always rinse my rice first because um, if I don't, it tends to upset my tummy. So I rinse the rice with water, cold water. Just pop it in the pan. George is home for tea today. See, so that's good. He's quite fussy. George is a bit fussy with food. He's um he has his favourites that he likes. And he doesn't like to veer away from them too much. But yeah, I haven't eaten chicken for a really long time, like probably five years because I didn't even like chicken. Still don't love it, but I do eat it maybe once a week or something, maybe less than that. Um I felt quite unwell at the end when I was, well, I was close to being vegan. I don't know if you remember. I think it was Vlogmas. Um, I was really sorting my diet out. And my iron was literally, oh, that's a question somebody asked me about. So I'll maybe answer that one tomorrow. But my iron was literally at rock bottom. 
and so I think it was possibly because I hadn't been eating meat for such a long time um, and although I thought I was being really careful I didn't really like chicken I thought I was being really careful with my diet and eating healthily obviously I need to eat meat so I do still much prefer vegetarian food if I had a choice like if I cooked for myself every day or if I didn't need the iron, I would eat vegetarian every day because I just love that kind of food. But it makes it easier, now I'm eating meat as well, to make family meals. So I'm just going to fry the chicken. Quite a lot of chicken now. I've probably done just two chicken breasts actually. But there's not a lot of veggies in this. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of veggies in this curry. I might sling in some peas at the end maybe. fast these now so I just need to cut up some spring onions, a chilli, the grated zest of a lime, at least two juices of limes if that makes sense, a tin of coconut milk and some coriander and we're going to have strawberries for two. So I'm going to put this on fast these because I think it'd be a bit boring. been cooked and eaten and Pete has been a sweetheart and done the washing and clearing up for me so that was really nice and I'm sitting here having a cheeky sangria I got it a ready mix from the supermarket and it's actually quite nice I thought I'd have a five minute sit and tell you about the hospital visit can you hear that let me see if I can show you there's some cheeky puppy what are you doing, Boo? Are you digging up Daddy's grass? <gasps> oh, Boo. I've kind of given up <laughs> trying to get her to stop doing it. That's better, isn't it? Uh, oh, no, that's not better. Apologies for me looking like a wreck, because I feel a bit like a wreck. So, uh, where did I get to? Yes, yeah, so... Oh, 
quite funny. She went, to, yeah, we got into the plaster room, or she went into the plaster room, had her plaster taken off, which was really easy because she's found that hard before because it's painful, isn't it? But this was her second plaster, so it wasn't as um, solid as the first one. And then she went straight into physio. And I think that was just a mistake and all a bit too much for her. Um, and she was in there for ages. Anyway, I'd been wandering around the hospital because it was so busy and there was hardly any seats to sit in. And when there was a seat, it was like really crushed up between two other people. And it was warm and I just, I just didn't want to be there. So, not at the hospital, I didn't want to be in the, sitting, in the waiting room. So I went for a wander around, went into the Marks and Spencer's food and just tinkered about a bit. And then went back and I waited and I waited and I waited and I thought, my goodness, what's wrong? Um, she'd fainted, poor mum, and they had to get a doctor to her and check her heart. So we were there a really long time. Um, yeah, so I didn't get back till quite late and I had to cook tea. So I feel a bit tired, but poor mum, I did feel sorry for her. When we were walking back to the car, I was terrified that she was just going to drop down. <laughs> so we had some water and a, a sit down before we left. And by the time we got home, she seemed much better. She was very quiet in the car, which is quite unusual because she's quite chatty, asking questions and stuff. So, um, yeah, I need to go and phone her in a minute, make sure she's still okay. I stayed with her for a while when I took her home. We sat in the garden in the shade. Just, I just wanted to make sure she was okay and not going to like faint again. But her arm is so skinny. It's like, like a skeleton arm. Amazing, isn't it? How um, the body just kind of wastes away when you don't use those muscles. So yeah, that's my day really. It's not been the best day. It's not been the worst, but it's not been the best. But I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Um, because I have just a day with no plans and I hope to spend some time in the garden and chatting with you guys. So I'm going to say goodnight, cheers, and I'll see you tomorrow.